Hey Govane and everyone, welcome to another trailer reaction video. This is going to be my reaction to The Nun 2. I was kind of curious about that, so I just googled it to see if there was gonna be one coming up, and I saw that there was, and it's gonna star Teja Famiga, again reprising her role. Um, I think it said two other people will reprise the role as well. Um, the only two people I could think of are the, the High Priest, uh, which was that veteran priest and the Frenchie, the French, the Frenchman, Frenchie. Um, I really liked the first Nun film, and I guess before I get into the reaction, um, you know, doing my reaction to this, um, now, well, first I'll say, even though the Nun 2 is going to come out, you know, months after uh, uh, Diablo 4. Uh, it's still a great one to, you know, to c continue that mood and that desire to play Diablo 4. But the movie you could watch right now, right now, which is um, June 4th, uh, to help uh, get you prepared and entice you and to, you know, get, get you excited for Diablo 4 is the first nun. There's a handful of films, and I'll bring those up. I'll, I'll bring them up now. Uh, a movie called uh, Conquest, which is a, uh, which is a, uh, a Lucio, Lucio Fulci film uh, that can help you kind of uh, get prepared for uh, Diablo 4, get gets you excited for it, set the mood. Um, uh, there is Night of the Demons, the original one, starring uh, Amelia Kincaid, uh, Linnea Quigley. The, the remake, the 2009 uh, version of Night of the Demons, also good, uh, with Shannon Elizabeth in that one. Edward Furlong is in that one. Uh, both uh, versions of it. But then the sequels to Night of the Demons, the original one, Night of the Demons 2 and 3. Uh, so the whole Night of the Demons franchise, including the remake, also make a great film to check out to get you in the mood for, um, you know, Diablo 4 as it's going to be, be coming in like a couple days if you just bought the standard edition. Uh, I've been playing it for like a few days now. Um, I, I don't want to say, uh, you know, extensively, but uh, since I'm more of, uh, I play it casually. Uh, but don't that's not to be confused with you know being a casual player so much because I do role play it uh, but I mean in in terms of uh, playing it for someone who's playing it casually that that's kind of extensive I think uh, just not super super crazy like some of these people that are you know are racing to get up to level 100 as quickly as they can stuff like that and doing all the leaderboard stuff I like to take my time and role play it, get immersed in the world as I usually do. Um, but those are just some films, and I had others, but I can't remember what some are. Anything really that is uh, a group based, where you're, uh, you know, like the Dungeons and Dragons movie, uh, any one of them, uh, but, you know, let's go with uh, the latest. Uh, honor among thieves right when you have a, a group of people because that's kind of like with Diablo 4 even though I'm doing it solo but still um, that will help you get in a mood for Diablo 4 and the nun the reason why there that is you're fighting a demon and all of its manifestations and illusions and, and creatures and other various demons in that one uh, it's scary and we have basically there's they're like different classes right we have the the veteran priest which is like a high priest so it's like a holy man you have Vera uh, uh, Teja Farminga's character who is a newly anointed at nun she started off as just like a um, like a nun initiate not even full-fledged nun yet and so she's starting out and then we have uh, Frenchie you know the the shotgun wielding uh, villager. So you have almost like three different character classes, and they team up and they fight Valak, which is a nun, 
you know, throughout the film, and then particularly that confrontation at the end, very Diablo-like in in the the vein and the tradition of Di- of um, Diablo series, Diablo Four. Uh, even though I know it's not their intention, but it's very serendipitous how it it everything aligns and matches up, and it's like uh, the format of a Diablo game. So I love that. So, anyways, let's go check out Diablo or. Let's check out the Nun 2 and see how this is. I'm super, super excited for this, and I think I'm going to be watching the Nun again. I've seen it like three, four times already. Is real? Which one ended? The same thought would be stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. The following occurred in 1952. Sister Irene is this relic once again. Linda Cardellini, um, Velma, uh, Hawkeye's wife, and I, I think she's like agent something. She's in part of Shield, um, and just very sad what what has happened with uh, uh, Jeremy Renner. He's still alive, but still. Uh, and the the curse of La Llorona, right? and it's all part of the holy. Cr- Wait, wait, that can't be right because the Curse of La Llorona is part of the Conjuring verse. If this is 1952 and the Curse of La Llorona was in the 70s, there's a little indiscrepancy here unless we're talking about some sort of interdimensional time travel. But let's see what this is. disjointed. I think that yeah, this comes out. Let's see. Picture to save it. Okay. Uh, I think it's like September eighth. So as I said, uh, Diablo four would have been out already for you know a few months already. But still, it will keep that energy going, and your desire to want to continue to slay demons then you can pretend that some of these bosses is Valak itself. Whether Valak's a man or female, it doesn't really matter. It's demon, you know. Um, so yeah, very excited. And I'm trying to think of what other games. I'm thinking, you know, really anything that has like a, a group of, um, you know, characters banding together to thwart evil and demons, particularly with demons, right? Uh, I, I say Conquest, you know, the Lucia Fulci film, that kind of has that because they have the guy with the bow, it's a magical bow, and they have a barbarian type character, I forgot his name, I forgot the names of, of those two, but there was a camaraderie there, so I really like that, that's like a double team. But anyways, uh, yeah, do check out The Nun, reflect upon what I just said, and as you watch The Nun, if you haven't seen it before or if you have seen it you didn't like it you didn't care for it because it didn't measure up to the conjuring franchise it's okay check it out again lower your expectations don't see it on the same level as that think diablo series think diablo 4 you may enjoy it even more 
Think about what I said about different character classes. Druid, you know, uh, even though there's no paladin class yet, but I think it is coming like a Holy Knight character. But paladin, necromancer, rogue, barbarian, um, what was that? Sorceress, right? But, you know, just think of different character classes. Think of the characters in the nun as different character classes. I don't know. Uh, the, the, he's like a cleric, you know, for, for the high priest. Well, he's a priest, so priest class. And then the second in command with with um, Sister uh, sister Irene, right? And then Frenchie, he's more of the... Uh, he could almost be like a... Uh, I would say maybe a crusader because he has a... Uh, although he's not super, super religious, but, you know, something of the warrior class. But anyways, um, yeah, that will do it. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm really excited for the Nun 2. Super excited for Diablo 4, of course. I, I am excited already, not for it. I'm, I'm a, I've been playing it, and I love it so far. And I hope you guys love it too. Diablo 4 and the Nun 1, the Nun 2. But as well as those other movies that I mentioned. So, see ya.